everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to apply your blush. Now this is how I like to apply my blush. Everyone has different face shapes and different ways that they like to wear their blush. But you can take the techniques that I'm going to be showing you today and adjust it so that it will work for your face. Alright, so I already have all my face makeup on. I also have bronzer. I did not contour today. But if I were to contour, I would have, I would basically be doing the exact same thing I'm going to be showing you today, except I would keep this area a little bit more clean. So basically, I would keep the blush right above the contour and blend it in with the contour. I have pictures on my Instagram how I wear my blush with the contour. But when I do just bronze my face, I like to bring the color just a little bit higher just so I have a little bit more color on my face. But you could totally apply your blush where you would bronze basically and keep this a little bit cleaner. This is just how I like to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this cheek and I'm going to talk through it. And I'm also going to show you how I apply my highlight. And then I'm going to do this cheek and I'm just going to fast forward it just so you kind of have a recap. So the brush I'm going to be using is this MAC 129 short handle I believe. And I used... I got this a long time ago in one of their holiday kits. Eventually I want to get an angled fluffy brush with the soft bristles. I think those are really nice for blush. Um, if you have that brush, go ahead and use it. This one blends out the blush really nicely, but I like to tap my blush so it can be a little scratchy. But I really like using this one. I also have this angled one from Pure Minerals. But this isn't as fluffy as I would like to, and the bristles aren't very soft. They're a little more stiff. But I do like this to contour. This is what I use to contour. And I also have this blush brush from Sonia Kashuk. But this one is a little bit too dense, and it takes me a while to blend out the blush. So I will be using this MAC 129 brush. Alright, so for basics, when you take your two index fingers and you put them right along your nose... This is the area you want to keep clean, so you don't want to apply any blush there. And normally, like if you're looking forward, on the center of your eye is where you want the blush to start. So I always look forward, find the center, and then just go a pinch over because it's so much easier to blend the blush inwards and it's so difficult if you were just to apply it there and have it really harshly. It's like, how are you going to get that off? So the blush I'm going to use is this one from Smashbox. This is in the color Chiffon. It's just a really pretty pinkish, corally shade. And it has little shimmers in it, which I love for spring and summer. Leave in the comments below what's your favorite blush for spring and summer. I personally love this one. Alright, so what I'm going to do is take the, blood, the brush and just tap it in there. And tap off the excess. Alright, you definitely want to start slowly. It makes it so much easier to blend. So go ahead, find the center, and then go a pinch over. And I'm going to, I start by tapping it on, and I'm going to bring it up towards the upper part of my, like right above my ear. Sometimes I bring it onto my temple, but for the most part I don't. And try to avoid right underneath your eye, unless you personally like to wear your blush that way. I have seen people wear it that way. I personally try to avoid it, like right under there. If I get it a little bit, that's fine. I'll just put a highlight over it. So I'm just going to start by tapping it. Just like that. And you can see like the color is building very slowly. I'm just going to keep dipping my brush in. And then just keep doing the same thing until I get the pigmentation I want. And I kind of like tap in circles. Now what I'm going to do is take the tip of the brush and I'm going to dip it back into the blush. If you already have the amount of blush that you want, you don't have to dip it back in. But you can still go in with that tip. And what I do is use it to swirl it like this and just blend the blush. Just like that. And then I'll dip just a tad bit more. And then what I like to do is kind of go like this, like I'm fanning my cheek area. Just like this. And I find that this helps blend the blush out so much easier. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and 
blend it inward so that it's at the center of my eye. And this is the part I talk about where I like to bring it a little bit higher because it's not contoured. So I will bring it like, I'll kind of gently sweep it right here. Normally I would just have it like that. So just very light handedly bring it right here. And then I do like to just go ahead and just sweep it just like this. And then I like to press the brush a little bit harder, but be sure that your brush doesn't have any more product. It's just basically crumbs left on it. All right, and so you can see that I start it right at the center of my eye, but I do like to go a little up, like I said. All right, once you have the color how you want it, you're gonna wanna blend it out. So I use this Kabuki brush to apply my face powder to set my foundation. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this Kabuki. I'm not dipping it in my setting powder or anything. It's just what's left over from earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and just take it and swirl it right, right here. Just like swirl it like this to blend out the edge. And I also forgot, I like to smile like at this point to make sure it's not like a naked empty space when I'm smiling so that the pictures don't look weird. So if you have that little space you could just kind of you know adjust the blush how you would like to. But mine's pretty good. So just go ahead and once you blend the inner corner you're going to want to blend the this line right here and this at the top as well if you need to. So same thing I just take the kabuki and just sweep it right under and then right above right there. And you could always bring the blush onto your temple, but I'm just going to leave it just like that. And you can see I avoided the under eye area. And you can always go back into your powder if you need to, to kind of clean the inner edges if you want to. So this is how this cheek looks with the blush on. And then here's this one with just the powder. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply my highlight. So I'm going to take this Ulta highlighting powder. This is the Yellow Diamond Illuminizer, and I'm also going to take this Bare Minerals Blush Brush. I originally was going to purchase a fan brush to apply my highlight, but then I, I saw this in Sephora and I thought it would be perfect because it's just so tiny and it just fits, you know, right there. And if you don't have a highlighting brush, I would highly suggest this because this makes highlighting so easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight right at the curve the highest cheek uh, the highest part of my cheekbone right at that curve and then I like to go in a C so I'll just dip it in tap it off and then just apply it right here and then I also go in a C and because it is springtime I do like my cheeks to be a little bit glowy so I'll also apply it just a little bit on top of my blush just like blend it down. Um, my blush does already have shimmer, but for springtime I do like a little bit more. So I'll just do the same thing. And you want to be very light-handed with this. Well, especially if it has pretty good pigmentation. And there's what that looks like. Alright, so really quickly I'm going to go ahead and do this cheek, and then I'll come back to talk to you. Alright, so I'm all done. Here's what the cheeks look like. So like I said, this is just how I like to apply my blush. I hope that you are able to take some of my techniques and make it work for your face structure and how you like to apply your blush. Just know that you have to try different ways to apply it. You know, maybe you want to bring it higher, maybe you want to keep it a little lower. Just know that Practice makes perfect and just keep trying. I know that I personally had a difficult time figuring out how I like to wear my blush and now that I figured it out, I'm really happy with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. 
Also be sure to check the description box below for all my information and I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. These are all from Bath and Body Works. They're the hand soaps. I always mention these because I love them so much. But they're the deep cleansing hand soaps. 